Hello, Dr. Vicki Peterson here. I wanted to speak with you today about a disease that affects many men. As a matter of fact, uh, over 400,000 men will be diagnosed newly with this disease this year, and that is prostate cancer. It affects men all over the world, uh, certainly more in industrialized nations than in non-industrialized nations. But here in the U.S., certainly anything we can do to uh, limit the risk is beneficial. So uh, I wanted to talk to you about some more studies, and so it's not just one study. There have been several studies that have uh, shown a risk between prostate cancer and the consumption of dairy products, be it milk, butter, cheese, etc. cetera. Uh, th the correlation is, is very severe, and um, it's not just in one area of the world. So there have been international studies, studies done in, in Italy and here in the U.S. and in Sweden, and uh, there's been two studies out of Harvard. Uh, recently, the Journal of Epidemiology came out with a study, and the risk factor is anywhere from one and a half to two and a half times the increase uh, risk associated with dairy product consumption. Men who drink more than a glass of milk a day uh, are shown to have this increased risk factor. And of course, then you have to correlate what is milk compared to cheese and ice cream and all of that. So it's not just consuming milk, uh, any sort of dairy product from any mammal, although these studies in particular were doing uh, cow's milk. And also the, uh, the factors associated with it. Why is this? So there's a number of possible factors. Um, number one is dairy products are higher in calcium. Uh, calcium is associated with decreasing the, the vitamin D activity. And vitamin D is not only called a vitamin, uh, but it's also a hormone and it's associated with reduced cancer risk. Uh, dairy products are also associated with more uh, insulin-like growth factor in the blood, which is an increased cancer risk. Uh, also, it's considered that the high uh, phosphorus and protein in dairy products are associated with not only less vitamin D, but higher cancer risk, which is interesting because there's more and more studies showing that uh, too much uh, animal protein is associated with increased cancer risk and uh, people who consume more plant-based diets have a lower cancer risk. So something to be considered for consuming more plants and less dairy products. I'm going to look down at my notes for a second because I think I'm forgetting something. Um, no, that was it. Okay, so basically we live in a country, we love our dairy products, and, and I, I can relate to that. I used to be a, a big dairy lover myself, but the facts are these. We are finding more and more risk factors associated with consuming the milk of another mammal. So uh, today I wanted to talk to you about men and prostate cancer. I'm going to be coming back to you talking about uh, children and a risk for them as, as well as women. So it's affecting everyone, and it, it's really just time to look at this. This is a big big risk. There's many studies. These are international studies. They were case control studies. They were not small studies by any means, and there's just more and more of them coming out. So we need to take heed, really look at your dairy consumption, really consider diminishing it. Um, I know it's a lot to think about, but if you get away from dairy products for 30 days, we do this with our patients quite a bit, and you do absolutely no dairy products for 30 days, and then you reintroduce it, you might very well find that your body has quite a reaction once you reintroduce it, which will start to show you how it really feels about those dairy products, and it probably doesn't love them. And uh, you know, you can't really feel cancer uh, developing until it's too late, so um, I definitely wanted to share this information information and I hope you found it helpful. Please contact me with your questions and comments. I love to hear from you all and until next time I wish you very good health.